I've been here almost three months. Gary's assignment is finishing up and we are getting ready to head south, which sounds really weird because we were in Texas, but <laughs> there is a southern moor part that we can go to in Texas. Let's go down that road. Thomas came out to see us. Hi, Thomas. One of the kitties. No puppies out today. Well, just keeping an eye on them. <laughs> Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we're going to give you a little bit of a tour of the RV park we've been staying at for the last three months, as well as talking about a couple of things that we're doing to get ready to roll and get on the road again. Uh, we're going to get the tires rotated this week. Yes. Gonna, on, the, on the truck. On the truck. On and the truck. I also have to get a battery to replace our already old battery. Then we've also been looking at places of where we're going to go and we'll be showing you those as we as we roll along been in touch with a few friends to see what their plans are most of them are going to be around so we're going to probably be stopping in to see some friends along the way but as far as preparation for us leaving it's mostly about the truck and the rv making sure they're roadworthy making sure everything is good tighten up the screws yep <laughs> So some of the things Gary's been doing when he talked about putting screws, as we go down the road and, and this bends and twists and everything, some of these screws pop out. And so what Gary's been doing now is he's reinforcing them with these washers. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, replacing where there are no screws because they fell out. Get your head. Yep, I am. Oh, that, yeah. And now, the thing that's been going wrong is the low point drain. I replaced this one two years. At least. Go, and it's been drippy ever since because it's just a chintzy little valve. Uh, talked to a guy about getting a valve to replace it. He recommended this. Metal instead of the plastic. And the reason is because it's got a better valve or shutting water and anyway uh, so I'm gonna replace that this evening yet I hope yep got to drain some water out of the fresh tank and disconnect and plug it in and we'll be ready to go and I'm gonna be hungry when I get done I'll go make supper <laughs> And we got some new lights Yes. because we've had some lights inside that they are the original lights, but we put LEDs in them like almost right away when we first moved in almost six years ago. And some so of the switches are wearing out and flickering when we can't get them to turn on and stuff. It just don't make them like they used to. I mean, these things are only 22 years old <laughs> and they're, they're no good. Job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are uh, we got the box today and Gary's gonna be putting up some new lights and changing some out and the first one he put up was like <laughs> even though the other ones had LED lights in them That's but we're a, gonna they're a little different style light they do put out a lot more yeah <laughs> so, so we may be going to sleep with sunglasses on <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's cloudy out we're both wearing our sunglasses yeah. oh well we're optimistic. <laughs> so behind us is the uh, clubhouse. And uh, part of the RV park, you can see some of the RVs up there. And we're going to show you the little lake that we're walking down to. We'll take you around the lake and just show you a little, little bit and tell you a little bit about our experience here. Rain is going to be moving in all day tomorrow, so this is all going to be muddy. We won't be able to maybe walk this again. We don't know if we'll be able to walk it again before we leave. So we thought we would come down here again. We usually come down here 
do at least two rounds on the little lake here. And then we head back up and walk around the different rows back and forth and up to the road and back down again and we easily do about two miles a day and Gary goes out sometimes and what does walks alone and sometimes I do walks alone not as much so we're we're getting a lot so, of walking in the nice thing about being here is that I don't have to worry too much about Orlean getting in trouble when I'm not around <laughs> There's, there's nothing. I mean, the nice thing about here is that Gary, if Gary has to go to the church, which he does sometimes two, three times a week, uh, and I'm left without a vehicle, at least I have some people here that are, are that I, that know us and we've talked with and have become our friends. And that's what I meant. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So today is very brisk. Good gracious. For us. For us, well, yeah, it yeah. was. It was in the close to 80 about less than two weeks ago, yeah. and now today I think we're gonna have a high, have a high of 54. But as soon as the sun goes under, it feels like it drops about 10 degrees. It it cools off so fast, and it's always windy here. Somewhere down in here in the woods, there have been. Uh, Coyotes. We hear them at night, running, howling, yipping. We don't know exactly where they're coming from. Somewhere down here, anyway. But we can hear them up by the RVs. Some or, nights they sound really close. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think that's. I hope that's the way the direction of the wind goes. No alligators here either. No, <laughs> there's not even a ripple in here today. Uh, once in a while you think you see something that looks like it might be breathing under the water <laughs> like a fish but they're supposed to stock this and make it into a fishing pond they're going to build a little pier on it but the water has gone way down you can see the white line where the water was and it was actually above that at one point too so somebody said this is a man-made lake and somebody said they think there is a leak somewhere and how you patch a leak on a lake like this I do not know. I personally think it's evaporation because it's been dry, surprisingly dry, but not as dry as Arizona was. No, not Arizona. Nevada. Nevada. Nevada was really dry when we were there. Oh that's pretty. You're pretty. Uh, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. We see sun rays coming out through the clouds and they're not showing up on this for some reason. Oh well. So there's a, this whole thing belongs to the RV park from our understanding. They own over 90 acres. And they have plans for the future, for um, adding a playground, possibly another um, dog run that they'll have one for big dogs and one for small dogs. Uh, they're talking about adding some games like cornhole and things like that. It's only been open since October and we got here the, a month after it opened. And we have seen some improvements. They have other businesses that they run, so I think this isn't the top priority for them. But they do make efforts that have been good. When we first got here, they had four wash machines and two dryers. And it was just recently that they have now got two more dryers, which makes it a lot easier. Um, the RV park will hold oh, there's 83 or 84 uh, sites. And the most we have had here, I think, was 33 at one time. And then people come and people go. And it's not like a vacation type thing for anybody. Most of the people that have been here are here because of jobs, work, 
some are working from their RVs. Um, at one time, we figured there had to be at least 10 or 12 units here that were delivered by a company because they don't have the vehicle or the means to move it themselves. There's a few retirees here who are here because of family. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Yep. And then there are some that are wanting to move here and so they're living here until they find a place. And one of our friends, one couple we've gotten to know, um, is uh, just bought a place they're leaving this week. And they, uh, they're going to be out of their RV, but she wants to keep traveling. Yeah. <laughs> this was their first time living in the RV for any length of time. And there's another couple here that are looking, well, two, three of them that we know of that are looking for a place to live in the area. It's nice they don't have to be in a rush because they're making it work the way it is and they can take their time and find a good deal. Uh-huh. A lot of new homes being built around <laughs> here. Unbelievable. May Pearl isn't a very big town. It's a pretty small town, but boy. A lot of building around this whole area. We just showed you a little bit of May Pearl when we were, when we did our Christmas video, if you missed that. It's just pretty much just a main street with some restaurants, mostly restaurants, yeah. and back, the grocery store, yep. Small right. mechanic shop. Yep, pretty small. But people that used to live here or grew up here want to move back and live here again, and they love it here. They've lived here all their. Some people have lived here all their lives, and they're 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 doing some work on their existing homes and making them work better for them. So they stayed here at the RV park until the work was done on their house. We've met a lot of nice people, though. Yeah. Yeah. This is the future sign for the RV park. <laughs> there was nothing here when we first came. In fact, this only went up maybe about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, when it's done, it will say White Rock RV Park. May Pearl, Texas. We're right now we're at the top of the top of the hill. You can see the RV park over there. Part of it anyway and panning around here that's the sign I just showed you there's the road that little cement part there we aren't sure we've heard all kinds of rumors about but that's gonna go there but one thing for sure is gonna be an ice making machine and they own all this too lots of possible expansion tonight last night got down to 29 degrees <laughs> <laughs> and we've been down below freezing I mean a few times and this time if you watched our um, video on how the, the mistakes that a lot of RVers make in cold weather if you haven't watched that I'll put a link to that up here somewhere or I'll put it at the end of this one. That one, we talk about the, the connections here, the water connections, and after the last big freeze, now they have jackets for the, the, for the pipes with the spigot on it. Yeah, so and, they've got hoods that'll go over those to keep the valves from freezing. Yeah, but we're just disconnecting, like we mentioned in the video. We just fill up our fresh water tank and we disconnect and really looking forward to some warmer weather <laughs> before we go to yeah. Wisconsin early. <laughs> One of the things that we've talked about changing almost since we moved in here was in the shower. This has never been used. I don't think it was ever used by the previous owners either. It's it's a retractable shower door. And we've never used it. 
I think it would be kind of gross myself because I don't know how you'd ever get it dry and you'd probably have mold and everything else in it. And then it has this track and that's always getting dirty. I'm always having to clean that out. And then what concerns me is if water or moisture gets back in here, what's going on underneath there. It's hard to clean. So we don't know how this is fastened. Uh, it appears that it may just be glued somehow this whole length of this. I don't know. But what we did we've used all this time is just a, is just a tension rod across with a shower curtain on it with a liner on one side and then the curtain on the other side. So now we're going to try and get it off and we don't know what's going to be underneath it. This tub holds everything. It holds my laundry stuff. It holds spare things like for my contact lenses. In that little part there is where we keep all our dirty laundry. I keep sorting it in bags as the week goes on until we're ready to do laundry. Let's see if there's a clip or something. Right now we're in a place where we can, they have dumpsters and we could get rid of this. These are all rivets on, <laughs> rivets on the side. Okay, what does that mean? What kind I of a... I can't unscrew them. <laughs> oh, great. So it has to come out as a unit. Or, I mean, the... The whole thing. This does. Yeah. I don't know about this. Well, that was easy enough for you. Well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was, oh. Okay, well, let's see if the rest of it comes out that easy. Just been kind of putting up with it. But you never know what you're getting into until you get into it. Okay, so just that out is good. Yuck, 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 yuck. No, I, might, I think I might need to take a knife, uh, utility knife or something, and just start cutting it off. Huh. Uh, I mean, cutting the bead, uh, the right. glue. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's been broke for a long time. It's supposed to run into the tub. Yeah, but it never did. So after every t after every bath, we always have to we wipe the whole thing down after every shower, and we don't take showers every day because it's just too much of a hassle. Yeah. So we've never had anybody tell us we smell. We clean up pretty good other ways. <laughs> I hope it comes off clean. All we have to do is a little goo gone or something to get the rest of it. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah that would.
Okay, that came off pretty clean. So what's the problem down here? Uh, it's some of the same glue. This, this uh -huh. kind of stuff. It's uh, two-sided. So I, I think it's the same on the bottom. Only it's probably got some other glue too. Oh. It looks like it's just resting right on the tub. Yeah. Like, like this was with the clock. be super awesome as if we could have replaced this with a, like a step-in shower but that down there is our furnace duct <laughs> so we would have had to have had it sitting on top of that it wouldn't have exact it would have been a little less of a step but it still would have been a step going up there okay second side is off Gary was just mentioning how when this is out, we won't be scraping our knees anymore. <laughs> it's amazing, such a short little thing like that. But you just, you're just you going from a tub. The floor of the tub is higher than the floor down here. So when you're getting out, you're stepping down further than your other foot. And always scraping on that little lip. So silly. And painful. It can be. <laughs> oh, water. So Ugh. Oh, I'm going to be so glad that's out of there. Yuck. It's gone. Yay. Now just to get this stuff off. Some of it almost looks... Like you said, like it was a foam of some kind, a sticky foam, like sticky on one side and then a foam on the other. And yeah, yeah, okay, so we'll get that off. Probably have to use a plastic tool to scrape it, but no damage to anything. Ugh. One of the reasons we wanted to replace the whole thing is because these little bubbies. They don't make these too much anymore. Um, the new RVs have all in one piece. These are what keep it in. And they have like a little, you poke it in and then it expands. But they break. And we've had to replace several of them. This one's getting loose up here. They pop out. And that one we have taped underneath over it. So we always have to be careful that those are not a problem and it just makes me wonder sometimes how much water goes up underneath there I know there's got to be some maybe over time we could just replace this with a one-piece thing maybe they make that I don't know we'll have to look all right I got this just wiped down with a natural cleaner that we have from Melaleuca and uh, this will just have to come off with a goo gun and a, and a plastic scraper but this is what it looked like, and I didn't have to rub real hard, so that was just with one cloth, so I think this will clean up pretty good. One of the other things that we took care of, or at least I did, I, can't, I haven't gotten Gary there yet, but eventually he's going to be going to the chiropractor too. I've been doing chiropractic care for years. And when we travel, I always have to look for someone new. Unless we're back in Wisconsin by family, then I can just go to the same guy every time. His name is uh, Dr. Roger Gunlock. He's in Ripon, and he's awesome. But when we're traveling, I have to find someone new. So I just, for whatever reason, chose the joint. But um, they gave me my own little thing. I am in their system. They have 800 locations throughout the United States did not know that and now my x-rays are my digital x-rays are on their files anywhere I go they can look at that 
um, they will put in whatever adjustments they did on me. That's in the file. And all I have to do when I check in is just do my little barcode there and that's it. And I'm in the system and that they're walk-ins. You don't even need an appointment. The chiropractor I saw had over 20 years experience. She used to have her own um, her own practice but she lived in a different city. And then she came back because of family and just decided to start working at the joint. So um, I'm very happy. I'm going to, hopefully it's going to be a good experience everywhere I go. I had it done yesterday. I feel great. Um, she even called me this morning to see how I was doing. I was very impressed. So now I'm ready to go and travel. Just one more thing to do. And then we've got all the things checked off our list. I'm going to cut oh. Gary's hair. <laughs> and that's another thing that's hard to find when you're traveling is new hairstylists all the time. But I got lucky this time. I was pretty pretty happy with her. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. We Those are the things we're doing. Just making sure everything's roadworthy. We'll get the tires checked on the RV when we leave here where there's a gas station real close by. And we'll um, check the pressure on the tires and make sure everything is... Yep. It's good, and we're going to get out of here before the snow hits. We are really praying for that. <laughs> snow is coming to northern Texas. It's like, ah, uh, not, mm, we're gone. <laughs>